I have a patient who has had six abortions in the past, in the last 10 years of marriage, DNC has been done. Patient's karyotyping and immunological profiling has been done, but 3D mapping suggestive of adenomyosis along the posterior wall and endomyometrial junction. Guys, remember, somebody has already done an LIT for her this year. She has had one abortion after this LIT. Okay, after the February LIT, she underwent an abortion and obviously, she is an HCQ, azathioprine, pentoxifilin, 100 things have been prescribed to her. What is important to understand is that these type of girls should probably be also given an option to do IVF and do genetic testing to form nuploid embryos. Guys, remember, a patient in whom just because they have come to you and you do an unindicated LIT is not going to solve the purpose. These patients will lose interest out of further conceptions because they will think or at least what is promised is that LIT will change your game, which is absolutely rubbish. In immunology, just remember, out of every 100 patients whom we evaluate, 75 people, we will tell them no need to do anything. Yes, there will be money which will be spent on evaluation, no denial in that. But 75 of them don't require medical assistance. 25 of them will require some type of assistance, mostly drugs. And very few of them will end up requiring any form of therapies. Ideally, in this case, I also want to correct the adenomyosis before the next pregnancy.